everyone, my name is Judy from Happy Holistics and thank you so much for dropping by. Today we're going to be doing a sushi slash poke bowl mashup. From what I've had, sushi and poke share a similar flavor profile, so today I thought I'd do something that's a combination of the two, either for lunch or dinner, and I just used whichever ingredients I had on hand. Poke is built up from a grain base, so usually it's white rice or brown rice. I've also seen some restaurants do quinoa. And on top of that, they put vegetables, sea veggies, some raw fish cubed, and garnishes with sauces. I didn't use any raw fish in this variation, even though it's like the essence of poke bowls as well as sashimi, but it simply wasn't in my budget for this month. If you would actually like to have the raw fish in this meal, you can go ahead and order sashimi grade fish from a reputable Japanese restaurant. Now why I specify that you have to get good quality is because if it's not handled correctly, it can have parasites that will make you sick. So stick with a trustworthy source. Start with a shallow wide bowl. I tossed in nori first, cut into small rectangles. Most restaurants add it towards the end so it kind of stays crispy, but since mine aren't uniformly cut, I like to hide it at the bottom. Then I'll add my base of quinoa. You can do rice or any other grains if you prefer. I like to add in a splash of seasoned sushi rice vinegar to taste and a touch of toasted sesame oil before adding it to my bowl. Add a scoop of mashed avocado. Mine was seasoned with a bit of salt. I had store-bought seaweed salad, so I added it in. I boiled edamame, shelled them, and seasoned them with a bit of soy sauce and sesame oil. Then I added it to my bowl. I put in some Japanese eel. It was frozen, so I broke off a chunk and heated it in the oven first. Then I tossed in masago, which is capelin roe that I also store in my freezer. Added some chopped green onion, and then some fried red onion. For the sauce, add a splash of soy sauce, which you can't really see, some mayo, sriracha hot sauce, and some sesame seeds. The great thing about these bowls is that you can leave out whatever you don't like and add in whatever you do like. So for example, if you don't like the protein that I chose or if you don't like the vegetables that I chose, you can swap it up with something that you do like. So if you don't like the eel, go for the traditional raw fish. If you don't like raw fish at all, go with cooked. I would like to know what you like to add to your bowl. So please leave me a comment down below and please remember to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. I will see you next week.